Would there be 12 combos of ace-king? No, right? So let's say there's four aces, right? I could show you with a deck, okay? So let's say the ace of spades. That goes with four of the suits, right? So you got four, ace of spades and four other, right? Okay, now let's do ace of hearts, okay? There's four with that one. Ace of clubs, four with that one. Ace of diamonds, four with that one. That's 16 total. So four aces go with the four kings, 16. Now, the way blockers work, what if, let's say, for example, you know, you have an ace in your hand, okay? So how many combinations of ace-king can the player have now? I asked Mike Madison because he had no fucking idea. It's impossible to teach an old dog new tricks sometimes. Um, all right, we're going to defend. So if you have an ace, I remove it. Your ace is there. What, and your opponent, you know, how many combos of ace-king can your opponent have? If I have an ace. So I'm dealt ace-deuce, okay? And I'm trying to figure out how many possible combinations of ace-king my opponent has. How many are there? Well, let's do it. Okay? So we know there are three aces now, right? Three aces left because we have one. So only three left. How many kings are there? Four, right? So one ace with four. Two ace with four. Three ace with four. What's four plus four plus four? Twelve. So there are twelve remaining possibilities. All right, we'll let this one go. Of ace-king, right? Now, what about if you have ace-king? And you say, oh, you know what? I wonder how many combos of ace-king that player can have. Well, how many now? All right, you have an ace and a king. Let's see this situation. You have an ace and a king. How many possibilities are there for your opponent to have an ace and a king? Okay. So you got three aces and three kings left, right? Because you have an ace and a king. So how would you do that? You got ace with three kings, ace with three kings, ace with three kings. Or, simple version is, three times three is nine. Okay? So if you have ace-king, the number of possibilities that your opponent has exactly ace-king is nine. Nine combinations out of all the possible combinations of cards you can have. Right? Now let's ask, how many combinations, if you have ace-king, how many combinations of pocket aces and pocket kings could he have, all told? You have an ace, right? So it leaves three aces left. Okay, how many combinations of different aces can you make with only three? So you got the ace of spade with the ace of heart, ace of spade with the ace of club, and then, then this last one. So three, only three combinations of aces left because you have one. And the same with the king. So there's six, six combinations of aces and kings when you have an ace and a king. So that's very simplistic way to understand how to break down the math. Not, I know the math cold. <laughs> I know the math cold. No. That math I'm talking. Combination. And those calculations to the highest level, that's what people are doing, even on a shot clock. 30 seconds. Da -da 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 -da. Thinking through the combinations. I believe the total number of different combinations, okay, the possible hands is about 1,286 or 1,280 or something like that. And this is like, for example, in this book, this would be a graph looking at. So this is how you would read poker charts and stuff. Is there's a whole, that's every hand available. Split on one side, on the bottom left, is in the unsu unsuited combos and then suited combos, right? So that plays a role too. Let's say, for example, you know a player will have 9-10 suited when they raise, but not 9-10 off suit, okay? So now 9-10 makes the nuts on a board, okay? You don't count all 16, right? He doesn't have 16 combos of 9-10 because if you assume he raised an early position, he's only doing that with 9-10 suited if he has it. It's four combinations of 9-10 suited. Let's say you have one of the suits. You have a 10 of spades and, you know, whatever. Well, that makes less. Now there's only three. That's why, that's where card removal, card rem blockers, card removal helps adjust the equation. So, for example, with flushes, right? If you count every possible flush, including seven do suited, there's four, uh, by the river, if there's three hearts on board, there's 45 combinations of hearts, okay? What if you have the deuce of hearts in your hand? Well, now there's only 36 combinations of hearts. So why does that matter? That matters when you're doing the equations based on the pot odds you're being laid, thinking about your minimum defense frequency, all that kind of shit. 2.2, we got 37 minutes. Left a late ridge. We're right around the average. With what? How many chips is that? 65K. So we're doing fine. Fucking bullet number one. 
You won the big pot there with the bluff there, eh? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You know, four makes a straight, a nine makes a straight. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We got ace king now. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do 2.2 is what we're gonna do. And now we we hope that this eight thank you calling re-raises us, or even Dawid, who's playing lots of pots, 40% of the pots. He's agro from Poland. Dawid Smolka. Go ahead, three bet me. I dare you. You'll hear her from me. Oh, he did too. Okay. There is no four bet size min click off of 40 bigs. You don't, you can't make it like 21, 22. That's not a thing because you're never going to fold. Do, do. <laughs> he says tilt. Ha ha. Ship it. Okay, well, we got what we wanted. Pick up 10 bigs. Sweet. 82K from 25. So you see what I'm saying there? If you're deep, like 200 big blinds deep, he makes it nine, you might make it 24, 25. But if I put in 24, 25, what's the difference between that and fucking 40? You think I'm ever gonna put in 24 and go, oh, damn it, he five bet. I guess I gotta fold the ace king. Save my 16, no, you just stick it in. Okay, we're gonna limp in here with the jack 10. Limp call here against three and a half. Obviously not limp calling a jam. Thought we would limp call. So three and a half, that's what I said, right? Okay. All right, that's a good flop, kinda. From Israel. He says hello. Hello. It's a good flop, it's not a great flop. It would be a great flop if that 10 was a spade, but it's a good flop. So if your rank is like great, like nuts, great, awesome, good. Now he's betting big. Oh, fuck. He's not supposed to bet big here on this spot. That is not backed by most theoretical. Okay, we say so confusing, we're going to call. And now we're going to check. We have a straight. Fire, straight. You beat it, take it. He called, insta. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Jackson nines, we had him. Oh wait, did he have me on the flop? Say sorry, sorry man. Hey, sorry man. What are we sitting on over here? 113K over here. All right, average 46, we got 57. We still on, yo. Bullet uno only. Y'all are in. You got 1%. So far, I've gotten you stugats in terms of not a single freaking bounty, eh? What you gonna do when they come for you? I might re-raise this hand if Raul comes on the button. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Yep, we are going to bluff this one for 7.7. 7. And then we're folding to the jam, okay? We will fold if Raul jams. If Raul, Barania, but Biraju decides to fucking stick it in our faces, pfft, we're jumping ship. This is a bluff, y'all. King three suited, it's a bluff, you know what I'm saying? It's pushing the envelope a little bit over here. What are you gonna do, buddy? You got a hand you want to go with over there, huh? You got a big old ace over there, ace queen. Ah, nah, give me the fucking money over here. What are you doing over here? Trying to raise my big blind over here. Come on, Raul. Easy there over there from India over there, huh? Trying to steal my blinds right there. Nah, you're not going to do it. Not going to let you get away with that smack talk crap button raise bullshit. You know what I'm doing? You know what I'm saying? All right, what are we doing here? We got, what is it? We're almost in the money now? This is crazy. 
Not that the fucking... It's so nuts we haven't had a single bounty, you know what I mean? We just, you know, we're not that crazy. We, yeah, all in garbage bullshit, although we did try with the King 3. So, 296 places will be paid. And 495 are left. Six, three suited in the big blind. Not so sure about this one. Having said that, it's one big blind to call. We're getting a very good price. Boom. Check over to the razor. We've got a little something, something cooking. Pair of threes and the back door straight. Can't forget about the back door flush. Got it all on the 1053. Got it all. Gonna check and call. Got it all. Now the queen don't help. Gonna check. And if he bets, I'll fuck out of fold. No way to continue when the queen comes. Even though he would push with the king jack, jack nine, ace jack, bluffs on the turn. It don't matter, there's a two pair for us. Now we gotta decide how to maximize the value on this one. So we're gonna go. Well, what the fuck bluffs do we have? We don't really have a lot of bluffs, do we? Oh, fuck, I can't put small here. I'm gonna go for two thirds anyway. Thing is, we just don't, when we, the bluffs we have is like ace fucking four, turning that into a bluff. We're just hoping that he calls with like a value hand where he thinks he's, you know, I'm value betting worse. Like if he has actually checked back a queen or a 10. But I don't love this spot very much, to be honest with you. Weird. You see, because when we check call a 10 5 3 flop, unless we check called with like jack 9 suited or some shit like that, which is a thing, could have done that. Okay. See, it's just hard to get called there. But he's not going to bluff much either, so. Nice to win the pod, but again, one of the weird spots, right? Where you hit the six. What is he? What do I? I can't. I can't call a ten five three rainbow flop and ve have very many bluffs there. The only ones are the ones, like I said, that wrap around the jack, the ten, which is like a backdoor king jack suited, ten jack nine suited that turns out into bluff. It's just not that many combos. Cards. All right, we got a couple uber shorties right now that I can actually go for bounties against. So I'm gonna min raise this one. Even though it's a piece of cheese, I do have an ace. And look, you're facing six and 6.7. I can play against that. What are you going to do, right? They got the best hand. They got the best hand. All right, now we got to call and we got to get lucky, probably. Oh, fuck. We have the best hand. Hello, bounty opportunity. Put a six out there. Six out there. All right, he's in big trouble. We're going to get ourselves a big fat bounty. Big fat bounty is 400 bucks on his head. $400 on his head. Coming my way. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Here it comes. Da -da All right, look at that. Now we got 400 bucks on our head. Yeah, there we go. A little extra money on uh, on top of our head there. So 200 went on our head, 200 went in our pocket, just like that, eh? How you like me now? All right, now we're talking. So the buy-in, for those of you that have a piece, was 840, right? We've gotten 200 bucks back. So you're already getting, whatever, about 25% rebate. And we are near and near to the money, the money stage. So we got 400 left, 300 make the money. But these tournaments, the bounty ones, when you're playing them for money, the cashing is kind of like less of a big deal as it is knocking out those big bounties. We're playing for the win. But look at that. We got Queta Khan. He's got a thousand bucks on his head already. Water Beast, 850, and that's just going to keep ballooning because, right, they knock each other out. By the end, you're going to have some big numbers on those people, and that's going to affect the play a lot. Happily get it in here with Ace King if you want to do it, Rahul. Rahul Biraju is going to 3-bet me. Yep. He's going to 3-bet me. We're going to 4-bet Jam. Want to bet? Told you. See? Takes all that time. And all in. All right. We'd love to get called by Ace Queen. We'd happily have him fold a pocket pair, which I don't think he has. But I think he has an ace. Oh man. We got a storm coming. All right, 
I gotta, I gotta read this message. Storm coming, but I also gotta check out Raul. Show him an ace. <laughs> Six seven suited, eh? Oh, Nelly. Let's see here. Let's see what we generate. Uh, we're gonna raise this sometimes. We're gonna three bet this sometimes. We're gonna fold this sometimes. All options available to us in this spot. This is gonna be a limp call. Limp and call. Limp and call. Three and a half x or three x. That's fine. He didn't waste no time, did he? All right. Smack a flop one time. All right, we can check call this flop. I know it sounds crazy, but against a small bet, we can check call this flop. Because we got the four, six, seven rocking of hearts against half pot, he's going to have a whole bunch of fucking hands, and we'll be able to check call bluff this river because there's not a lot of fucking hands like this we have. So we check call, and now we've turned the open and straight draw. You know, we had equity at it. As it is with the six seven, and now we're gonna bomb river. If he checks back, okay. Now we don't need to because we've just made the best hand. So you notice we had a plan. We were gonna bomb the river. Now we don't need to bomb the river. Pair of sixes is gonna win the fucking money, almost assuredly. So we just check, and if he bets, we call. Simple. Give me my, give me my money, son. King nine. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Six seven suited, bro. 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 See, we had a plan, bro. Jack four deuce rainbow, bro. On that flop, we call with the 6-7, bruh. When we check call on that flop, he's going to be like, yo, bro, river card came. You can't have no bluffs, blah. That was going to be our bluff right there with the 6-7 suited with the backdoor straights and the backdoor flushes. Boom, 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 boom. We're almost there. Now we got the ace, nine of diamonds over here, eh? All righty. And we're going to go ahead and raise this one, right? To 3.3. Raise to 3.3 against... Ace nine suited, raising the big blind after the limp. Let's do it. And now we finally got the pocket aces, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna call this guy here with the hand and uh, see what uh, if you wanna come to Alpha Banana, Alpha Banana, Alpha Banana. You wanna come? You can come too. What do you got? Fives? I got aces. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so far so good. This is a big fucking bounty, 850 bucks on his head. Diamond or a club? It's a heart. Mm, scary. Ooh, ace on the river, just in case. Ooh, look at this big bounty we got, people. All right, you guys all making money. Here we go with the... Oh, what a big bounty, eh? Oh, what a big bounty. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Big bounty, big bounty, yeah. Oh, yeah, big bounty, yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we do with this King-10, yeah. Oh, uh, this king Ten's gonna flat. Oh, yeah, big bounty, yeah, big bounty. Now we're doing good. Busted a dude. Got a gut shot with the something, something, something. All kinds of things can happen on this board. We're going to check it back because we decided to. This is a good spot to bet, but we're going to decide to check one time. There's the top pair. We've got the king on the turn. There's the top pair. And I'm going to do something fucking crazy. I was going to check it back for fun. All right, he's betting the king on the turn. He's betting the king on the turn. I'm going to call this bet right here. Do, 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 do. There's another king on the river that makes three kings for us. And we have a jack 10 kicker, which could be a thing because he might be raising with some goofy suited king shits. Let's go. 6.6. .6. Half pot. Half pot bet. I'll take it. Okay. Very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ooh, baby. We're doing good. 72 big lines, ladies and gents. All right. We're almost in the money. We've also got probably our money back. I don't even know how this fucking works. We got $800 bounty, so that means we've taken out 600 Um, Not cheap. You know, it could be cheap. We'll see. All right, queen 10 suited, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna flat this. Flat this, queen 10 suited, okay. Let's check, and again, we have to call small. Big we can fold against, but small is, again, we define small as under 50%. Okay. 
Okay, ace on the turn. This will be an easy check fold. All right, 315 remain. We are close, as I said, to... Uh, all right, I think I have to bluff this one. I do. I think I have to bluff this one for size. To bluff out king high here. Some small pairs. All right. Hello. Hello, Moto. Give me the money. Queen high might have been good, but whatever. We win. We win because we take initiative. Close to the money. So for those of you who got a piece, remember, we get our buy-in back at 301 players. There's 309. Well, we need eight to go broke. Lock that money up. We've locked up the bounty money. Isn't it crazy? I played enough. I played like bounty terms. Like I still don't fully understand how much we've won. <laughs> so we have officially gotten our money back, plus gravy. So we got the buy-in back. Now we got all these bounties, and we got uh, a shot to make more. So let's go. Right. Right. So as you can see, first place is 66k, but. It also counts all the bounties that you're going to accrue. So it's going to be a lot more than that. So you see the prize for 1.6 million. Half of that is bounties. All right, 7-4 off. That's not a very good hand. But look at the fucking price we're being laid here in this spot here. Let's see. All right, just going to limp right in with this piece of shit, 7-4. Against Alpha Banana. So we flopped our four. And we're going to bet one time. I'm going to tell you something after this. Okay, did you notice that? Alpha Banana had auto fold on, okay? One of the things you don't want to do when you're in the blinds, in the big blind, you can auto fold any position, but don't do it from the big blind. Because notice when I limp, boom, he insta checked, right? So what does that tell me, okay? Anybody raised, he was folding. So what does that tell you about his range? Doesn't have an ace, doesn't have that much of a hand, doesn't have nothing, probably has shit hand. So don't do that. All right, so, Simple. You look at the bounty, 1250, okay? And half of that is what we're up. So 625 is what we've won, right? In bounties, so 625. The buy-in is 840. And we've already got bubble protection. Oh, we're in the money. What am I doing? Holy shit, 293, we're in the money. Yeah, we're in the money. So we got 1100 plus 600, 1700. So guess what? Da, 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 da. Those that invested the $8.40 to buy 1%, I've just doubled your money and now you've got a chance to win a whole bunch more. Okay, let's see, let's see. All right, I'm just gonna fold this one. This is like generally ace nine off with a three better fold. I'm not a big fan of flatting with it. it doesn't play all that well post flop against three players, which is likely because alpha banana's behind. Plus, you don't close the action, you know. But I do have that in my three bet range sometimes. King 10 in the cutoff. Don't mind if I do. Cueta Quen, Cueta Quen, Cueta Quen, the Argentina, Cueta Quen, the Argentina, Cueta Quen, the Argentina. And right, I'm going to check this flop back. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, now we're going to bluff this turn card. And we're going to have to follow it up with a river bet as well. We're not betting this turn to fucking dog it on the river. There's a little danger, though, because this board hits him as well. So he's betting small. Okay. I'm going to raise. Going to bluff raise with this hand. I don't have any diamonds or spades, which is a good thing because... That means it increases the chance that he has two diamonds or two spades. Okay? Makes sense? If he re-raises, we fold. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You're dead. You'll never bluff. Spa, blah, 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 blah. He's so easy to fucking play, predict. Fuck.